we'll see how it goes for this decorated kickboxer. Nice to see him cross over into the UFC. And a lot of people feel like if he can get on sort of an Alex Pereira type trajectory in terms of the work ethic and the approach, could be a future world champion. Well, he looks like it. He seems to have all the skills and he says the right thing. We were talking to him the other day. He spoke about all the time they're spending in the gym working on the wrestling because he knows that the kickboxing is embedded in him. He has done it so long, he can do it on cruise control. But the wrestling has improved. And he said because his wrestling's improved, guys are going to have to stand with him. When they have to stand, he said the lights will be shut off. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it before. Dude's got power everywhere, and that's why a lot of these fans have traveled far and wide to see him compete live here tonight. So you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champ. I do, John. And I will go on record saying it. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling. He's got the grappling. He's got the cardio. He's got the toughness. He can do it all. But it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at Team Over the Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kai Dunblad Harrowbrand! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amir the Prince Abbasay! So Herb Dean, third man Ready. in there for this one. Ready. Good. Well, what a remarkable rise to contention it has been for the city kickboxing rep, Kai Kalafrantz, one of a handful of Kiwis who have really excelled in the UFC. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when it comes to Kai Kalafrantz's overall game. Certainly his power. Oh, flying knee to the head. Nice head kick gets through. Out of France gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Huge kick lands again. Strike there, interrupted by Kata Franz. All right, so there it is, the leg kick from Kai Kata Franz. He figured to have a striking advantage tonight. So far, so good. Everything starts with the leg kick. It's a lot of the game plan of the city kickboxing team. They build reads off of your reactions. And Kai Kata Franz right now is trying to gain the recipe for what is going to lead to success tonight. Here's a kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Changes his stance. 
Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes, not this gentleman. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Nice jab from Cara Franks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, back and forth we go. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Cara Franks' strike attempt there is blocked. Fast leg kick lands. Just over two minutes to go. Kai Kata Franz gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. that kick. Defensive savant. He blocked that punch. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Strong straight left there. Oh, inside kick. Check. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh. He's got to move his head. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Slips the punch nicely there. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. What a great job getting that kick to the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. as though his sole focus is attacking that cut and man it's getting bad now a lot of blood flowing yeah as it should be well, he should be focused on getting to that cut making his opponent pay he did the work he opened up the cut now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight just misses there with the left 
Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's thrown. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing the baseball at the side of the ball. Uh, he, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Cotta Fronts. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's I think it's all it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Oh, big head kick lands. Kyle Fronts' nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, misses with the jab. Back and forth we go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Checks the leg kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Under a minute now to go in this one. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Kyle Fronts. And doing work with the jab. Strong leg kick there by Kata Fronts. 15 seconds. So the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonmail will try to get in there and shut it. But, of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, 
continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he has... Oh, he's in real trouble now. Trying the flying knee there. All right, so there it is again, the leg kick from Kata France. He has a lot of advantages in this matchup, but that appears to be the weapon of choice tonight. You know, it's all rooted in the game plan. These guys build game plans, and these fighters from City Kickboxing follow it to a T, and you see that with Kaya Kara France in his approach tonight. Kata France is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Straight punch is true. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. That kick blocked by Kata Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Kata France is cut right on the bridge of this nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, and you got to think the ringside position will, too. You heard it again. The kick is there to the body. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Nice front kick. Left foot power. Under two minutes to go. Nice leg kick. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any design of winning this fight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty of the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes, you got to... Wow! Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with people. No. He caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Straight left counter finds its own. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Don't be stupid. 
All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Roy McDonald as these athletes go toe to toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they hurt him again. Oh! Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Check that kick as well. Kyle Fonts' cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, nice inside kick. There it is. Right back on his legs. Timely defense there, huge lock for him. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. I mean, geez, Louise. Under three minutes now to go in the round. It's work. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Cotta France is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Both fighters. Oh. oh my god! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knock. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, with that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, Kaido Craig All right, so Kai Katafranc, your winner tonight by knockout. Now, he was unable to break through and win that UFC interim flyweight title, but talk about getting back on the horse. That's a huge win tonight. That's how you bounce back. I mean, that's how you bounce back. You want to come out here and make a statement. Tell people, don't forget about me. You knock somebody out the way that Katafranc did tonight, that makes him recognize it. Stand up. Great job by Kai Katafranc. And he'll be the first to tell you, with a nickname, don't blink, you got to put people away. He was able to do it here tonight.